Okay, the way I'm going to test this software is to um, load a document that I've created. It's actually my latest newsletter, which hasn't been published yet, so it's not found online anywhere. And there shouldn't be any plagiarism in there, but uh, we'll have a look and see what this software program comes up with. First to do is to load the document. And if you had, say, 10 or 20 documents, you could load them all at once and then this software will check one after another and then you'll have your reports table at the end so you can examine uh, how each document has performed. We'll start the check on this one and you can see the total progress bar and it it's at the end there just because we're only doing one document. This is the progress of the current document and down the bottom here we've got a dynamic PD charts. This isn't actually populating with data just yet but it will do soon and you'll see lots of little squares down here and each square represents a word and the thing we want to look out for are the colors of the squares and we've got the key over here we've got original content we've got reference to another website content if it appears as blocks like this and um, the red plagiarism content if there's any uh, strings that look like they're plagiarized you'll see strings of red in amongst the chart so we should see that in a moment I'm just going to pause the video until it appears Okay, we've now got the chart appearing. We can see some referenced material here and some plagiarized material here, which will be interesting to see what it is since um, this is a newsletter I wrote and there shouldn't be any plagiarism. But what we sometimes get is um, very common sentences or um, titles or product names or something that um, this software will see as uh, plagiarized content. So we can see there there's quite a few red bars and when it's finished checking we'll be able to have a look and see exactly what it's finding there okay it's finished the check and up pops the reports window you can see the available reports here if you had had 10 report uh, 10 articles checked you'd have all 10 reports down here and you can see a short summary up here 98% original the article um 2% plagiarized and it's the 2% plagiarized that I'm interested to actually see what's going on. So I can double click on the report to open it. Um, the, the reports that come with this software are really very detailed. There's an overall summary at the top where we can see um, a diagrammatic representation of the article where we've got 98% original, 2% plagiarized. So let's just scroll down a little bit. And it's got here the top three plagiarized sources. So let me just click on the first one and what we've got then is we've got a comparison. On the left will be my article, on the right will be the source that the same content has been found in. And you can see here that what's been found is this sentence here, or this part of a sentence, comfortable giving your credit card details to. And that site has the exact same phrase. But if you look at the words before, you would be, would you feel, and then at the end, the site to purchase something, the website, blah, blah, blah. So it's only that sentence which has been seen as plagiarism. It clearly isn't plagiarism. So let's go back to the main report. We can check on the next one. Let's have a look down here. What have we got plagiarized? Uh, comfortable giving your credit card details. So again, it's the same phrase. And we could check that one as well, but we just scroll down a little bit and you'll see the text of my content. Here we've got um, the, the bit that has been tagged as a quote of another website. We carry on going down. Trust seals. Okay, they're inside quotes. That's why we've got the little quote thing there. Um, here, look, it tells you the actual pages again where we have a potential problem. Give comfortable giving your credit card details to, and on this site, comfortable giving your credit card details to, and so on, all the way to the bottom of the article. As you can see, there isn't actually any plagiarism, it's just words, um, short parts of sentences which are the same as being found on other websites. So the next thing I want to do is I want to introduce a little bit of plagiarism into this article. So let me open up my web browser. Okay, so we've got Google open. Let me type in um, SEO tips 
and we'll go to a page that's a page that's well buried. Just going to find this one. Just anything at random. I'm just going to select a sentence from. Oh, that one seems to be very slow loading. Let's try a different one. I'm just going to select a sentence from one of these. Let's have a look. I'm going to take just that one sentence. Just the beginning of the word and copy it and then I'm going to open up my document and we'll insert that um, let's just insert it in the middle of a paragraph okay so basically the documents the same but we've now plagiarized a sentence from another website and I'm going to save this as let's say 308 to And I'm going to close that. Close my web browser. And then we're going to do a new step by step wizard. And we're going to select 3082 and get the plagiarism detector to run that through. And I'm just going to pause until the results come up. OK, it's now finished the detection on that second document. Let's just have a quick look. There's the report window. Let me move that out of the way for a minute. You can see here that there's a longer string that's now been found, which wasn't found in the original. Um, let's have a look at the actual report and see whether it's found my copied sentence. Okay, now we have 97%, it was 98, and 3% plagiarized. And sources of plagiarism, these two here are the main ones. Let's have a look and see whether it's got that sentence that I added. Okay, and now here, as you can see, okay, it's missed the Bing off, but it's found the rest of the sentence. So that's really cool that it's found that. If I go down and scroll down, here you can see that it's actually highlighted that sentence and given me the two URLs where that information has come from. So as you can see, this tool is absolutely fantastic if you are hiring writers and you need to know that your work that you're putting on your website is unique.